Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 4th of July. It's Independence Day. Alabama's weather, well, you know what it's going to be. Hot, humid, maybe a storm in spots. Let's check it out. There's the upper air look early this morning. There's a ridge centered north of the state. And down below that, a series of weak waves are moving from east to west. Easterly waves, if you will. And one blew through here early this morning. And some storms uh, fired up about 1, 2 a.m. over the northern half of the state. Some of those really packed a punch. One thing they all had, a tremendous amount of lightning. It was nature's own fireworks. And in some cases, we had a few trees knocked down in parts of uh, St. Clair County. A severe thunderstorm warning was posted briefly early this morning for parts of Shelby and St. Clair counties. Uh, that was the radar at 520. All that's left is a patch of light to moderate rain, mainly over Walker County. And for this 4th of July, the morning should be dry. We could see more scattered storms later today and early tonight. That's the uh, watch warning map. The area is in orange. Those are heat advisories. That's where the heat index will likely approach 105. But for most everybody, it's going to be hot and muggy over the eastern half of the country. Severe weather outlook at a risk of severe storms for cities like Omaha, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Down here, we're just in the green. That means scattered storms, but organized severe weather not expected. This is tomorrow, and this is Friday. We'll stay in this air mass for a while. Check weather in the tropics. Uh, got a couple little features highlighted by NHC. One is in the deep tropics, and there's no way that develops because of dry air and cool water. The uh, little disturbance south of Bermuda maybe will try and get its act together. Hurricane Center with a 50% chance of that developing in five days. If anything forms out there by chance, that will be recurving out to sea. It's no threat to the United States. So, model fans, let's take a look. This is the GFS, the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock, and you can see a 597 heat bubble north of here. Uh, for uh, places like Detroit, New York City, Boston, Washington, Baltimore, still very hot today, very humid. We're on the southern flank of that. And again, uh, for today, we'll see sun this morning and a few pop-up storms this afternoon or tonight. It's not going to rain everywhere. Chance of any one spot getting wet, I'd say about one in four. And the high today, 90 to 95. Just very typical 4th of July weather. Same thing tomorrow and on Friday, pretty much the same thing. Now, there is a surface front north of the state near the Ohio River. And is that sag southward that could bring an increase in storms late Friday or maybe even Friday night? And then Saturday, that boundary stalls out near the Alabama-Tennessee state line. It will not have enough push to get through here. And the presence of the boundary could bring an enhanced coverage of showers and storms this weekend. We'll say scattered to numerous storms Saturday, and this is Sunday. The high both days in the 80s, but the limited amount of sunshine. So the weekend looking a little unsettled. Monday, the front dissipates, and again, we'll have scattered storms. Same thing on Tuesday. And a week from today, Wednesday the 11th, 594 Ridge to the west in a trough in the east. That'll bring some nice relief for the northeastern states but for us just no major change a mix of sun and clouds scattered storms we'll go out uh, 10 days this is friday the 13th of july again a 594 heat ridge off to the west and the weather here probably not that much different sun scattered storms check the numbers coming off the gfs ensemble you can see for the weekend highs dropping back in the 80s otherwise Highs mostly low to mid-90s and lows mostly in the low 70s. Sure looks like July. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, we're on a holiday schedule. One video today. Next video tomorrow morning by 7 o'clock. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great 4th of July and God bless.
Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.